All right, gang, you see what's going on from the title? I'm gonna be showing you how I do my loaded potato salad. Don't judge me. I have done this from scratch before, but I'm using Walmart devil egg potato salad just to make the process a little bit easier. But like I said, I've done this from scratch, so don't be out there judging me. Um, go back to some of my previous videos, and I have made my potato salad from scratch before. Uh, but this process, pretty simple, especially when, when you use the Walmart potato salad. Um, their potato salad by itself alone tastes great, but I just like to add a little saute onion, shredded cheese, uh, sometimes a little ranch, a little nacho cheese sauce as well, depending on how freaky I want to get with it, a little bacon, bacon bits as well. And so, like I say, pretty simple process, but I just figured I'd make a video. Um, we're gonna eat our Thanksgiving food early tomorrow on Wednesday because on Thursday, you know, we have so much other food from family members as well. So it's like, you know, we're gonna do our turkey and stuff tomorrow. And then, like I said, Thursday is like, you know, have so many other plates from other family members' house. But stay tuned, it's gonna be real quick and simple. About to go ahead and get these onions sauteed and finish up this potato salad. All right, and I just threw these onions in there. Only thing I got in there right now is butter and some beef broth. Um, I normally just use a little seasoning salt. My wife is actually, she's at the store now grabbing some, but I didn't feel like waiting, so I just went ahead and started it with just the butter and beef broth and just let these saute it like a brownish color. All right. Some people, this is cool when sauteing their onions, but I like mine to get a little bit more brown color on it. I like them like a little bit more brown, you know. All right. You see, they're getting away. I like them. We're gonna go ahead and start adding other ingredients to the potato salad. Go on and hit it with that. Keep it real with y'all. I had to pour this pan out. Um, it didn't look good when I opened it. It had like a bunch of watery stuff on top. And so we're not gonna be using this. Go on and hit it with that ranch now. As much as you like. Shredded cheese. Go ahead and add the onions in. That's a lot better now. And if you notice also, they shrink. So if you like a lot, you know, you might want to do the whole onion. I had a big onion. I did about half of it. And so just a reminder, you know, they do shrink for you guys that don't cook on the regular that don't know that. Got everything in there. Going to go ahead and mix it up. I don't have a cameraman, so bear with me. I'm going to mix it up and get right back with you guys. Alright guys, I went ahead and mixed it up. You see the finished product, see how it looks. And like I said, if you got bacon, some fresh bacon, not the bacon bits. Like some bacon, cook some bacon and chop it up in there too. That really adds like a freaky twist to it. And you know, my daughter, she likes a whole bunch of sauteed onions. And so if you want to add more onions to it, that helps it out too. But you see right there guys, it tastes amazing. Make sure you subscribe, like and share the video. Happy Thanksgiving.